news now. They look like something out of a James Bond movie. Darts equipped with GPS, and they're changing the way police chase criminals. In fact, this new technology might eliminate the need for a chase altogether. Our Tara Molina researching this today. And Tara, you found a department in Ohio that uses these. Rob, a sheriff's department in Toledo actually just got these through a grant. And just today, we learned that they actually used them to catch a man who pulled a gun on a deputy and ran off. I got in touch with the sheriff of that department. He explained exactly how these are changing the game. Chase after chase. Tires squealing. I mean, I heard a lot of tires squealing. We hear about them all the time. Sometimes our photographers even catch them on camera. Wanted criminals or suspects running from the law. Hey, they're, they're over here. They were, they were going that way. But there's at least one department here in Ohio that's cut speed out of the equation, taking danger and jurisdiction issues with it. Using these, their GPS tracker darts. The Lucas County Sheriff explained to me how they work. Imagine two uh, barrels that you could place on the front of your uh, squad car and the officer approaching the car uh, has a fob in their hand. When that car takes off, is they can push the button and a dart comes from the canister uh, in front of the car and it sticks on the back of the car that the officer was approaching. Completely changing the game for his deputies. Instead of chasing that car, it comes across the computer as to where that car is at. And when it stops, then we can move in and apprehend the, the driver. Because this can be more complicated than you may think. Police and sheriff's departments abide by different rules when it comes to what they can and can't do and when to abandon a chase. So many people are um, struck and hit and hurt and killed in high-speed chases. Could this be helpful in Cleveland and its surrounding cities where jurisdictional issues and chase policies are brought up often? Folks police are tracking, sometimes getting away because of them. We in law enforcement, we need to change with the times and we need to take advantage of every tool that's available to us. Now, in reporting this story today, I checked in with more than a dozen local departments right here in Cleveland and in the Akron area. So far, guys, no one is using these locally. A lot of the people I talked to today aren't even familiar with them. So we'll check back because that may change. Reporting live in Cleveland, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.